Are you sick and tired of slow download speed and you don't want to spend any money to buy the new Xbox or you just want to get faster internet speed to download those games so you can play quickly with your friends? Well look no further guys because today I will be showing you how to upgrade your download speed on Xbox on all types of Xboxes from the Xbox One, Xbox One S and the Xbox Series X. Make sure you watch the end of the video to ensure that you will get that upgraded internet speed by following the following steps that I'm about to show you. Now before we get into the video guys, make sure you like, subscribe and turn that notification bell on and comment down below that you subscribe to me because I will be responding to every single comment that comments down below that say that says they subscribed. Subscribing is always free, you can change your mind later and enjoy the video. Now first of all guys, you want to head over to settings. then to network settings then you want to head over to advanced settings then you want to head to DNS settings to manual then you want to go 8.8.8.8 on the primary DNS then on the secondary DNS you want to go 8.8.4.4 after I just put it in sorry there we go you want to go out of it you want to let let it load now you just want to click B on it and it should just take a little bit to go out of it there we go just checking our connection to see if it will work usually works 100% of the time and there we go it's all good then I'm just gonna do a little test for you guys I'm just gonna pick a random game that's uninstalled on my console currently I just head over to my all owns games head over to all owns games and I'll just pick a random game. I'm just going to choose Warzone because it's a big game to install. Just press install all. And just wait for it to load and actually process that it's going to be installed onto my console. There we go. I'll quickly check the home screen. If it's installing, head over to my games and apps. I'll head to the queue. I'll install my hard drive. Just wait for it to load as you can see it started downloading at a 6.54 speed and it's jumped up to 30 already so as you can see it's already basically over doubled itself and it's sitting on 30 at the moment it should double again up to around 60 or 50 mfp like loading rate update rate wait for it to load there we go hitting 40 gone back down it's a little bit glitchy guys but once it kicks in it stays in there we go staying at 40 now it's at 50 and there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed today's video today make sure to like and subscribe and turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video and i'll catch you in the next video bye